here's how we do it. Yeah, she Caroline on the scene. Hey, she a the reality queen. We a cup. This is not a dream, yo. On your mark, get set. Reality mode. Hi everyone, welcome back to another reality series. It's the beautiful Yeshiga. Thank you so much for joining me. And today, I want to remind persons out there that in whatever we do, we should be thankful. Yes, because it's not because of our own will while we're here. It's because of the mercies of God and the grace and favor that he have on our life that we are here. We are purpose driven and because God knows that we have not fulfilled our purpose yet, he's working on us because we are a work in progress, right? So, I want each and every one of us to take time out and highlight some of the things that we're thankful for in life. Yes, we, it's not every day that we get up and remind ourselves or bring ourselves down memory lane of the things that we are grateful for or appreciative of. Because it's the little things that count, you know. Not to say that big things don't count, but the little things, they do add value. So, I need each and every one to leave a comment in the comment section below to tell me what it is that you're thankful for. We'll be right back in a minute. You deserve the glory and the honor. I lift my hands in worship as I bless your holy name. It's amazing what praises can do. When we're feeling down and we start to praise, it's such a different feeling. When we're feeling all alone and we just hum a song, we just get a different feeling. That's how we know that God is alive and well. The presence of God make a difference. Some of the things that I'm thankful for is that I'm thankful for the gift of life. I'm not numbered among the dead. God has breathed a fresh breath upon me that I can wake up to live to see another day. And for that, I am grateful. I am thankful. Thank you, God, for waking me up, giving me life. I thank you, God, because you're worthy. I thank you. Another thing I'm so thankful for, and I can't help but to emphasize how thankful I am is for health I'm thankful for health and strength my bones are not broken I am flexible God is good attitude of gratitude I'm telling you I am grateful for health a lot of persons are vegetable they can't move they can't help themselves other persons have to be doing things for them and I have strength I am healthy, I am fit, I am grateful. Thank you, Jesus. I am grateful. I just want to look back on my life and I want to thank God. I really, really want to thank God for the blessings He has bestowed on my life. He has blessed me tremendously. He has blessed me to be an inspiration to many. I have a testimony. Yes, son, I do have a testimony. Because when I look back on where God has brought me from and where I am today, <laughs> I am thankful. I am thankful. I am grateful. God, you're good. Your mercies endure it forever. Thank you, Jesus. I cannot help but to say how grateful I am. When we look back on things, you yeah, man, I forgive thanks. Afi, 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 I'm born to give thanks. And, you know, something that we take for granted again is that a lot of times we won't give thanks for our families, our friends, our enemies, the ones that um, criticize and push us to do good, you know, because it's not every criticism you need to take in a negative sense, you know. When you hear people are criticize you, it should motivate you to do better, to be the best version of you. So yes, we need to be 
thankful for that we need to be grateful we need to embrace these you don't need to wait until your family and friends are six foot under that you tell them how much you love them that you thank god for them being around and being your life no we need to have this as a constant reminder yes because god is good god is good what is it that you're thankful about remember to leave your comment in the comment section below <laughs> you know I laugh but this is serious I can look back and I can hold up my head high without anybody pointing fingers at me or making me feel less than I ought to be I can thank God that I am NOT the person I was yesterday because if I am the person I was yesterday, a lot of people would not be walking around with their head held high if they had crossed my path. I am thankful that God has changed my life, that he has touched everything on my inside. I am thankful that God has allowed me to get past my past, to embrace them and to know that whatever I've been through is enough to know that God will come through for me. He has made me into a better person. I'm able to handle situations in a different way. So when persons are looking for the worst from me, I am learning how to be, how to deal with things differently. You know, I am forever grateful. <laughs> God good in you know, yo? Me tell you say God good. Mm -hmm. People, what if you give thanks? Even if you're not Christian, you're not taking nothing out of you. To look back on the things out there. To look back on the things where God has brought you from. The struggles, the challenges. And say, thank you God. One thing, another thing is that, you know. I want to thank God for my job. Yeah man. A professional in the field. I am grateful for that. Because when I left university... I tell myself that I'm not going to sit on my yard. I have my job out there waiting on me. And I believe that to the T. I believe that. Even when people say, You know, make sense to go to university. Come on, you go to university. You come out. You come to sit on your yard. You have some mediocre job. Listen, be grateful. You might not get what you want. No. But. In the long run, it will shape you into what you should be or where you should go. Yes, <laughs> believe me, been there. God is good. And I want to thank Him. Thank Him for giving me a job. Straight out of university, two weeks at my yard. No, one week at home. And then booked into a job. It wasn't my first choice, of course not, but... I was able to help myself. God, you're good. Thank you, Papa Jesus. It's because of this job I am able to ease the stress and embrace the challenges. Old people, young people, all sort of people. <laughs> I cannot um, forget how God has changed my life, you know? And you know what has helped to shape me? the word of god and i am thankful for that yeah man the word is a lamb unto our feet and a light unto our path don't you ever forget that the word of god is our bread when we need, we need to feast on it because for my time when we have the words in on, on our heart when certain situation come we can ease back and drop the word of god you know and encourage ourselves and that keep me going sometimes, you know, get mad in another place sometimes, you know. Yes, man. Thank you, Jesus, for your word. Mm -hmm. His word never fail. And he never tell no lie in that word, you know. Never tell no lie. He said, I have not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. So, ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door will be open unto you. Thank you, Jesus for your blessings on me thank you and another thing to be thankful about is that i thank god for joy for grace for happiness 
and for peace of mind. I am not confused. I am happy in my own skin. Yes, man. <laughs> God, good. Eh, me now go stop saying it. You know. I'm not care who want vex, but vex if you must. Please, if you please. God, good. God, good. God, good. God, good. God, good. God, good. Me saying good, 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 good. Till you can't good no more. <laughs> eh, me laughing. You know. you know, but the last thing. The very last thing I want to thank God for is that I thank Him for being an awesome God. I thank Him for being the understanding God, the caring person that He is. I thank God for the millions of blessings He has in store for me. The ones that I bring to light, the ones He bring to light, and the ones that are to come. I am grateful, oh, I am embracing the goodness of God. Yes, God is so good. And I can't help but to emphasize. People, don't make because of situations, you do not give thanks. Don't make because you're not in the position you want to be, that you fail to give God thanks. Sometimes we have to step out of our comfort zone. Step from among certain people and give God thanks. When you get up in the morning, go down by your knee and give God thanks. Walk in your house, confuse the enemy and give God thanks. Step in your workplace with a happiness over you, confuse the people in. Give God thanks. Because when you give thanks, you'll see the amount of blessings you reap. Blessings beyond measure. So, believe in yourself. Have faith in your abilities. Yeah man, because, you see with God, once you have faith in you know, Him, you're good. Because if you faith, have faith this much, hey, hey, yeah. you can move mountain. You can walk on water. You can swim on land if you must. <laughs> yeah, man. God, good. God is good. And I can't help but to emphasize how good he is. And you know what I think? I just want people to get up and praise God. Yes. As silly as it may sound to some. But remember. When you get up in the morning, and then you get up off of your own. When you go to bed in the night, you know, after wake up. Right? And even if it's just to get up and stretch out your laziness and say, Thank you, God, and wake up, up and thankful, or whatever. But, give thanks. Thank you guys so much for listening to, to me and the things that I'm thankful about. I am passionate. I won't give in thanks to God, you know, because, trust me, if I never got, I don't think I would be, um, if it wasn't for God's grace and mercy, I would not be here right now. I couldn't be able to do this video. I wouldn't be the person I am today, as some of my friends call me the Good Samaritan. I would not be that individual. But to God be the glory, great things he has done. So love you the world that he gave us his son. God, you deserve the glory. You deserve all honor. You deserve the praise. Thank you so much, God. Thank you. Now tell us if you give the li your life to God. But he deserved the praise. He deserved the glory. Just give him thanks. I'll see you guys next week. Walk good. I make God go with you. Now do like the girl will say when him mother tell him say carry God with you, and him ask him mother I wish for God I go go in the car trunk. And the girl put a tree of egg in the trunk and say in this for God God for turn. And you know what happened? She had an accident the night, and when she had an accident she died. But the egg was still in the trunk. Not one crack. Why? Because God was in the trunk of the car. That's where she placed her. Placed him. So don't put God on back burner and take him up when you feel like. Always have a praise. Right? Give God thanks. What good? Take care of yourself. Pick up yourself, my peeps.
Reality mode of the thing pan lock. Like, subscribe, keep the bell pan cock. Stay in the loop or you ever get crushed by the reality troop. That's a reality. That's a reality. That's a reality. Here's how we do it. Yeah, she Caroline pan the scene. Ay. She a the reality queen. We a cup. This is not a dream, yo. On your mark, get set. Reality mode of the thing pan lock. Like, subscribe, keep the bell pan cock. Stay in the loop or you a go get crushed by the reality troop. That's a reality. Ay. That's a reality. Ay. That's a reality. Ay.